steep ass country. A couple of tired lads. Quite a mission. We've got to walk back in two days' time. Not up on close tops. Been flying stream that we've followed for the last quarters of an hour or so into the main river, which after a, a seriously large flash flood. It's coming down. A little more to the left. Oh! I think someone might have struck a bit fast then. You took everything off. You break the whole lot. All the, the whole lot came off. Didn't it? Oh no. No, he just struck too. Oh. Yeah, he just struck too fast. Bad luck. Just had Craig uh, a little anxious on a strike. Um, done well until now. As soon as I get the camera out, he's a little quick. But there is a fish. And it looks like a nice size one in front of this rock. It's swinging around, feeding quite nicely. So we'll put the dry dropper over him, and um, hopefully we can get something on film. Here's Mike just about to uh, hook up on the 11th brownie of the trip.
really bully him here. Let's take him down to that little bay. Good work, Brosif. He didn't take the first one, uh, the first drift. Sort of went, um, snuck off to the side and took something else. And uh, second one, come over, looked at the drive, and they decided they wanted that little gold nip. Yeah, lovely fish. You know, probably touching up towards five pound. Um, had a bit of a gnarly trip down off a ridge, and we've got about a four hour slog back up and full packs tomorrow. But uh, these guys will make it all worthwhile. And uh, it's about the 11th or something fish we've caught, half a day yesterday and a few hours today. So, awesome. Craig Bros about to do better with the fish, hopefully in front of this rock, right in front of that rock there, and of course on cue the wind comes up. Just watch James there, that's it. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Come and hit that big drive, didn't he? Good stuff, Craig, eh? Oh, you hit the dry, eh? Let's, um, let's give a look at that, James. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah. Lovely wee fish. Hit that dry piece of cake, didn't they? Awesome. Oh, nice. Let's have a look. That's a chunky little fish, isn't it? He ran three pounds, three and a half pounds, but, um, well done. It's pretty good, all right. <laughs> oh, give him his freedom. Well then, he's an absolutely wallet, that bloody, um, that sort of rural cicada. That was brilliant. Well done, Rosy boy. Well done, those boys. He's after it, he's got it, well done. Nice work, who's the man? He's got you wrapped on that branch, hasn't he? 
We had a net, we better. She's pulled up against it. We might be able to reach in and grab his tail. I don't know which way he is though, Craig. He might have got completely wrapped around it. Cutting a slightly forlorn figure. Big fish, one of the biggest of the trip. Probably four or five along this edge. Probably seven or eight pound, and he um, got him into a snag around, around a branch. Free one branch, there's in another. I reached up to about me, almost my armpit, tried to free it off the branch, grabbed his tail and he just pulled free of me and broke off. Oh well. Been working for the last uh, probably hour. Wet wood to um, get a campfire going. Really good trick to get a fire going. Get some wet timber and split it down the middle and, and keep splitting it and use those dry sections.